right, what's up guys? I am back, uh, Tim with A4 Outdoors, and we're gonna be, actually I've already done it, I did it, I just finished uh, the install. But um, hope you guys checked out the, if you've, you've looked at the whips video I just did, I did the uh, whips install on the X3. Um, I told you I were gonna do some rock lights. The X3 already has rock lights from ProBox that matches kind of the, the um, roof radio and everything. So what I did is I got these rock lights from Nylite also. As you can see, they are, and I'll show you, I'll kind of show you down here and everything. Um, those whips are not light and i've used not light several uh, light bars in the past and they've worked great not having i've never had any issue with it the light bars use those on the four wheelers if you submerge the relay they will kind of fault some so i've had to replace maybe a relay or two i've got three different machines but all three i think has not light like light bars but light bars working great and on the outlanders there's not really anywhere good to put the relay or run the wiring. It sucks. The wiring, everything's so tight. It's kind of hard to run all your wiring and stuff like that. So I'm going to kind of show you how I did it the best way you can. You could, you know, there's probably however you can route it, do that. I'm just going to kind of show you how where I mounted the, the, the rock lights and ran the wiring and stuff like that and, and the switch and all that. So, um, Anyway, it's going to be Nylite. I'm going to put the description in the, uh, or I'm going to put the link in the description for the rock lights and for the wiring harness. Um, I got them separately just because I think this is one of the least expensive ways you can go about it, getting some rock lights. It gives you a nice little, you know, underglow of the four wheeler or side by side or whatnot. So um, I think both of these you might have 30, 40 bucks a set of rock lights, four rock lights. So I can't remember exactly, but I'll post the link and everything. But uh, And I'm, I'm going to show you right now what we have and how I did everything. I'm going to try to go through pretty pretty thorough just because when I put them on there, it took me a while to route everything. And that had been a 30, 45-minute video. So I'm going to kind of cut it down and just make you a short little thing to, so you can kind of get the gist of how All you right, Here is what we got. The actual rock lights from, from um, Nylite. These comes four in a pack, and I just got the white color, so I didn't get, or even they make more of like an amber, green, red, blue, and then white. So I just got the white ones. I think they make more expensive ones where they can change color and all that good stuff, but uh, I think Huntley, my youngest son, we did um, rock lights on his, and they, they will actually change color, but he leaves it on green like his halos, so. Anyway, white, we're going to do it one solid color. You just kind of turn them on and they stay on. So these are the, the rock lights. They come like this. Each that you come, you have four rock lights, just a short pigtail. This box does not have the wiring harness. This is what this, you know, this is the wiring harness there, but it comes with just a short lead. Um, the actual rock light, and then it comes with your little rubber backing to kind of, you know, you can feed your wire through there and then your little bolts to put them on with. As far as that, that's what comes in that box. Now the wiring harness, which the nice thing about this wiring harness makes it super easy. It is actually kind of an off-road wiring harness, but it's a four, four-way wiring harness. So you can actually have four lights, which will work with the four rock lights. So it's got good instructions. It kind of tells you what the harness goes to. You know, you got your, your hot and ground from each wire, from each, light and then you have your um fuse with your relay and all that and it goes positive and negative and then it comes with another wire off with the switch everything's included in this box all four of these your relay the whole wiring harness and it's even got your switch it's got a round switch that'll light up when you turn it on not the biggest fan of these switches but they work they work great and i don't want to put i usually use rocker switches but on the four-wheeler it's not really room to do that so we'll just use a we'll use one of these switches that that it came with so and then it comes with all your connectors where all you got to do is just cut them splice them and they splice right on to your rock lights so in these two kits should have everything you need to put these rock lights on and i'll put those in the description like i said so um the wiring harness i've already used but here's the instruction it kind of tells you just how to do it super easy 
and then now I'll go over to the machine and show you where I put the wiring and all that. All right, guys, first thing you'll want to do is take off your plastic, which is pretty easy. You remove your seat. You'll take, I would go ahead and take the, the three or the two pieces. You've got the small piece here and then the bigger piece there. Take that off. They pop off pretty easy. It's a couple push pins under the fenders and one under this fender and one here and, you know, here, there. And then you'll take your cover off. This pops right off easy. And then this section here, you know, just lifts up and take it off and you can take it completely off. Your top part, you'll just kind of take off and that's where your harness is for your, your dash and everything. You just kind of lay it up here. So basically you got all that exposed. And like I said, it's tight. So there's not a really a good way to run the wiring. You just cut, this is not the best way. This is just kind of the way I did it. I tried to keep everything away from the exhaust. The exhaust runs up this side all the way to, to the motor and then back. So I tried to keep as much of the wiring away from the exhaust as I could. So I pretty much ran everything on this side. The wiring harness is going to be long because it's made for a vehicle. So you're just going to have to find a spot to put your excess wire, which I did. I did check the seat and nothing hits right under here. So I just kind of round it up and then zip tied it in here, the extra. So what I did, here's, here's where, the way I mounted the rock lights. Your rock lights, you just got to kind of drill. If you don't like to drill holes, you could probably use the self-adhesive things, but it doesn't come with the adhesive. But two small holes, the rock lights here, I just mounted them, you know, the back fender right under there, and you just kind of kind of hold, hold the nuts there. You drill two little small holes the size of the bolts and use the little rubber backing, and in that way they're, they don't rattle, make any noise or anything like that. So I did that, and then I took the one leg of the wiring harness, and you stick it up through here, just kind of try to find the best route to run it. So in the back, went through there, and it kind of comes out here. The other side, same thing so you just kind of eyeball it and mount it in the same position this rock light i know it's hard to see because it's dark under there but anyway and then the wiring just goes right up through there and i brought it you just got to kind of fish it and it comes out here and then i went across here so i just kind of i took this piece off to hide you know to kind of stick the wiring down through there so it's not all flopping around and here the seat does this is your fuse and there's your relay. So once you get the back sections pulled, like I pulled everything over to here to keep it away from this exhaust as much as I can. So you'll see the exhaust runs down through there. So I just kind of tried to come right at the top and went straight over. Um, hopefully it won't have any issue with melting the wire up in here. We'll see if it does, then I'll have to figure something else out. But um, once we go over here, you take all the three of the wires, basically that goes there. And then I kind of ran it. I'll go back to the other side. three comes out and I kind of ran it and zip tied it to the existing wire to here. So the hardest part about getting your extra wire is where to come over into this little cubby hole to kind of loop it up because you got to be careful where your seat pieces hit and stuff like that. So what I did is your seat goes on there and you'll see your two pieces here. I just ran the wiring down the side and once you put your plastic on in your seat, you won't be able to see this and the seat doesn't bottom out on it because it sits up a little bit on these posts so it'll go right through here and and then to the front your wiring harness for the front ones i ran up kind of kept it tight with all the existing wiring went on the outside of the the gear shifter so it's not bothered by it um, it's going to be inside the gear outside the gear shifter kind of just went with this piece of wire through here and then one of your legs are going to go underneath here you just got to kind of figure out a way to fish it, fish it through there. And your front light rock lights is, I put it right up under here. Same way, you've just got to drill two little holes and kind of bolt your rock lights. What I do is I would bolt, do the, mount your rock lights first is the way I did it. That way you know where you got to go with your harness, your wiring. So that side's like that. And then I ran the other leg kind of across underneath the cow and over of this part so and it came out and then it's got like your little connectors that i got there and then your other one is mounted right underneath there so the same way as the other one the switch the switch is in the wiring harness so you'll have another harness with a plug that kind of plugs in together so the way i mounted the switch which i've already got my light bar switch here and this is an old switch that 
I was going to use, but it's any, any, this area here is hard to drill a hole and get to because you've got your, your, your air box and everything's like right under here. So everything's pretty much flat. So it's hard to put anything that's going to have prongs coming out the back of the switch in this section here. Um, of course, my push button light bar is no big deal for that because it's on the front. Um, you could mount it here, I believe, but it's still, you've got your handlebar and stuff behind there. So that's going to be difficult. I didn't really want to mount it on the sides and stuff like that because that's the, the hard part. Everything on the Outlander, the plastic is sealed close. There's a little bit of room like right here. You just kind of kind of eyeball it. But what I did is I removed, when I removed this, I took the, the instrument cluster out. It unplugs. So I just kind of unplugged it and took that off. That way I could see there's a big circle here to kind of where I wanted to mount the switch where there was, it wasn't flat. There was enough room for the prong, you know, the three, the white, black, and red on the switch to go. So once you get in there, it's not going to be centered because there's stuff in the way here that it can't go through. So you're going to have to come right there like that. So once you, you take a look, this is the only place I could really get a drill a hole and there wasn't any, there was enough room for the, the switch to go through without hitting anything. So your wiring harness for your instruments right here. So that, if you kind of come just down from center and over to your right, if you're sitting on the machine to the right hand side and you drill a three quarter hole for this switch, then you're, you should be good. So that's the way I mounted the switch. You can make, if you can find a different place, that's fine. It's just, it doesn't look the best, but it works, you know, so it's just kind of, you're limited on where you can put switches and stuff like that on the Outlander without having to redo a something that mounts on here that you can mount switches. I've seen people do some switches here, which will work. Um, you can do maybe toggle switches or those switches on this section here. Um, I just used to have my remote control for my radio there. So, but, and it's still, anytime you get switches that are long, there's not a lot of room on this thing. It's just on, you know, the bad part. So, but that's where I did it. And then I just kind of kept looking and then the seat hits here and it sits off a little bit and there's a little section that goes down in here. So this wire is not going to be hit. And the way I did it, I just kind of zip tied it to where it will go that. And then the plastic will cover all of this once I get the side plastic on and everything. So. What I will do is turn the switch on. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that and there they are. Pretty bright. And I'll turn the uh, lights off. There's the front ones. Let me actually go turn the light off here. So, do pretty well i mean that's you know give you a little extra light at night look pretty cool um the only thing i really don't like the light the switch like i said it came with it lights up red like that when it's on which is you know not that big a deal good thing is when it's out here you won't be able to see it much when you're riding because you're going to be kind of behind it but yeah pretty sweet it's a little bit of a pain in the butt but you know it is what it is but as far as rock lights, inexpensive rock lights, Nylite makes pretty good stuff. Um, pretty cheap. I kind of like it. So I've used a lot of their light bars. Like I think that, yeah, there's Nylite light bar on there. I think there's Nylite on that one. And haven't had any issues other than maybe like a relay. And you can get those relays pretty much at the hardware store. Amazon's got a ton of them. You can buy them for five or six bucks a piece if you ever need to carry a spare. So anyway, guys, um, going to have some more videos to come. If you like to hit a like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time.